Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Draken God. In the last episode, we continued with Sere's prayer as he is looking for his sister Mana, and now he's been captured and taken to the Colosseum where we will have to save him. So let us continue. I cannot fly in this narrow place. Now go on foot. Alright, fine. Anyways, what we have to do here, basically, is take care of all of the bad guys. He is being held in the Colosseum. Alright, thank you. I kind of figured that. Thank you, Angelus. You are quite nice. In the Japanese version of uh, this game, actually, I believe her name was Angel. Oh, this is a pretty nice spell. Ouch. This is a pretty sweet spell. Oh, there's a guy over there with a damn bow. All right, now I showed this off. Let's uh, let's get another one. Let's show off. Whoops, soldier sword. There we go. This one's actually very good. If you, I guess, if you need speed. If you need speed, this thing's great. Because it's basically called the breath of Slepnir. Slepnir. Which is Odin's horse, a six-legged horse. Meaning he's very fast. Now watch this magic thing. And basically look at Kaim. Look at him, look at him go. Look how fast he is. That's damn fast. Can you imagine if I fast forwarded that? That would be crazy fast. Alright, we saw that. Let's equip this. This is Meiji's uh, Sorrow. Let's see if the little boy and the crystal on the top is any good. Let's see if this is any good. Sere, please be safe. Ah, that's all right. Sere, my child, you can die properly this time, can't you? What a douchebag fairy, huh? Anyways, let's try out the Sorrowborn. There's a couple more enemies here. But yeah, that that spell, that one with the wizard wand, wasn't that good. It was kind of shitty, in fact. Alright, let's check out this spell. Ah, eh. No, that's not too bad. Alright, let's see... Next. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Dragon Storm. Hammer time. Bow, 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 bow. Long song. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Ow, they can actually touch it quite a bit. And there we go, we get a treasure chest in the hidden and in in near the gate. So what we need to do is not kill these guys here. And then get the uh get the thing. Ow! Out of the way. Look at that dodging skill. Now we'll get this weapon. And now we'll have to get beat in the face. Yeah, I was thinking about fighting those guys with, uh... Oh, man. I was thinking about fighting those guys with, uh... With, what's, with uh, Kime's hammer. But I was like, nah, that'd take way too long. And as you can see, I can't get this item. So we're just gonna have to wait, 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 wait. Hey, look, here's a Healy chest thing here. Man, I can't get either of these. I just gotta wait around. What the hell? So there's really nothing to do but just sit here and wait, I guess. And I'm not even gonna fast forward this, because this video is actually gonna be a little shorter than usual, because uh, I didn't get a lot of time to sit down and record, so I just figured, I, you know what, let's just do Sire's prayer, and then uh, be that, but 
after we're done with this, I'm actually going to go through the few free missions that we can go through, and then we will continue with the story. Yeah. Because after this, there's only a few more free missions, like, for this. The child is unharmed. Kaim, it is time to help someone with that bloody sword. Oh, look at that. Instead of revenge and murder, Kaim will actually be helping save a life. It's kind of like he's turning a corner, you know what I mean? Kind of like in Bad Santa when Willy beat the hell out of those teenager kids to save Mervyn Schmervin. Or Herman Schmervin, or whatever the hell his name was. And we got a new weapon, Twins Fangs. Anyways, yeah, Mervyn Schmervin. And he's like, yeah, I think I turned a corner. Marcus, I think I turned a corner. I beat the shit out of some teenagers today. Man, that's the best fucking... And I apologize for the f but that is the best... Christmas movie, I think. I think it's the best. A wonderful prize today. A human child. A useless child that can't grow up. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm not useless. I don't grow old so I can save up time. I'll save the world. Just like the little hero. Shut up. I don't care about your fairy tales. It's true. Mother said it's true. Gollum said it's true. <laughs> the time you're needed will never come, Edgen. You're a burden on everyone. All you're good for is to be a prize in the Coliseum. I am not a burden. No. Who in the hell are you? You're worse. We are here for Sarah. Yeah, your worst nightmare, man. An opportunity, Kai, to learn how to use your sword to save another. Yeah. This will be a learning experience. I mean, Kaim, if you think about it, he used his sword to save his sister's life for quite a while. Anyways, we're going to have to go through ten rounds of guys. And if we do this within five minutes... You are a match for any man or beast. You must learn to wield that sword for good. Yeah, this is like a learning experience. Where are my children? Anyways, what we want... Sede, please be safe. Yeah, I'm... Kai, do not give up. Uh, I won't. Anyway... Help! Mana! Mother! Help me! Listen, there's no reason to pray to Mana. I'm sorry. Hey... Don't be sorry, kid. Listen, we're kicking ass and taking names. Anyways, as you can see, we're ripping the shit out of these guys with Ariosha's magic. And we have to go through ten... I don't like the unbeatable red trio. There's still some left. Don't give up, Kaim. I'm not. I, I'm... I'm... I'm far... Farther than you can imagine I'm giving up. But anyways, yeah. Um... What the hell was I going to say? Uh... Oh yeah, if you beat this within five minutes, all ten, all ten, uh, things, the treasure chest will appear. And it's one badass treasure. Probably one of the strongest swords in the game. I'm saying probably because I don't remember if it is. All right, so you remember those two shitheads that were talking earlier? Well, here they are. Yeah, I was wondering if there was like a uh, thing. And if you need help, there's a help back there. But I don't think we'll need help. All remaining subhumans have joined the fight. That kind. For whom does he brandish his sword? Uh, for himself? For rage. Oh, my children. Vengeance. You should probably be asking, like, who does the other people, like, freaking... Who do they, like, brandish their sword for? Like, Arios. You kind of really haven't asked what she's doing. I mean, Leonard, he's there for... For atonement. 
Alright, so let's grab this treasure here. There's Siri over there being sorta of, kinda of crucified. Anyways, let's pick up this treasure here. And this will be a sword. And now we just have to wait until Ariosh is done with their business here. Let's go, let's pick up this treasure, and we're done! Well, how does it feel to use your sword to save? Uh, it feels pretty alright. I mean, it kind of feels the same as if I was murdering people, like, massively, like, destroying them, slaughtering them. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. And look at this, we get Himir's finger! Look at how gigantic that sword is. That's like a buster sword. That's like friggin' Cloud's buster sword, or... Uh, what was that guy's name? Was his name Angelus too? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think so. Remember Zach's, like, uh, friend Angelus? His mentor? Shit, yeah, I think that was his name. I... Thank you. I thought I... Thank you. No problem, kid. Seri, you are safe now. Uh, I'm sorry. I always cause such trouble. Not really. That scream! The death cry of the bed. Nice. The three seals are broken. Finally. Only the goddess remains. The very last seal. The fairies deserve death. The union will soon begin the final attack. We too must go to the last battlefield. Oh, it's my fault, isn't it? I wanted to come here. I wasted your time. Nah. Don't say that, kid. Regret is for fools. What has been done has been done. Uh, yes. All right. Sere, your sister. Forget it. It doesn't matter now. Not anymore. Come on, we have to hurry. Well, your mother took her of the Watchers. So it does sort of matter still, but, you know, at this point, there's nothing we can do about it because they got her. But maybe at some point, Siri might be able to snap her out of whatever funk she's in. So now we actually have this new area, the Crimson Mountains, we can explore, which is pretty cool. Um... At this point, I was considering continuing with the episode, but I'm going to decide against it. Basically, there's now three more missions we can do to get an aerial mission and two more missions where we can get, um, where we can get stuff. And as you can see, we're done here. We're done here. We're done here. With Ciray's prayer. We've got all the, uh, the weapons there. We're about, what it was, 73% of the way done. So, um, I think for the next episode, I am going to do, like I mentioned earlier, free expeditions. The ones, uh, the ones over here in the Crimson Mountain area. Finish off those, right? And then what I'll do is we will, uh, then we will continue with the story. We have to defeat Inuart's dragon faster than we did la last time.